Welcome Roller Knights. We're here in Zimbabwe, South Africa, just on the border of Mozambique. And we found something that we weren't really expecting in Southern Africa. We haven't found plains and desert. Instead, we're here in a mountain region. And what have we got around here? We got some like old English style trees, if it ever gets in focus. We can see in the autumn, it's very nice. We've got jungle that we were trekking through before. Out here we have some plains and mountains and farmland, dams. Got little mountains over this way. Um, and just down here we have Mozambique, just over the border. And right now we are on top of the cliff. Excellent. So, we've just been in Zimbabwe a day now. Whoop, don't fall. Uh, and haven't done anything, but I will give you a bit of a rundown of Mozambique. So let's go find Adriana where we're just having our picnic and I'll give you a rundown of Mozambique. <laughs> Say hi Adriana. This is uh, where we had our picnic. So a nice little viewpoint for us. So, let me tell you about Mozambique. So, Mozambique, uh, actually come a bit closer Adri, because you probably can't hear me very well. Okay. So Mozambique, well, it was a bit of a disappointment unfortunately. It turned out it was really expensive. Uh, what we wanted to do mainly was scuba diving and the weather for scuba diving was pretty shit actually. So we didn't actually get to do any diving. It was also about $100 US a dive, so you know, a bit more in the Philippines where it's like $20 a dive. But we did have at least two really cool experiences and we just had a generally good time. So, first experience. We went on an ocean safari. Now the people we went with, they were pretty disorganized, which meant we left about midday instead of 10 like everyone else. However, that turned out to be really good because when we were going out, everyone else was coming back in. So we had this area of ocean just to ourselves. And what were we looking for on an ocean safari? Whales, whale sharks, and dolphins. And we saw all of them. We saw some whales doing their little jumpy things out in the distance. We saw some dolphins and some people got in and swim with them. And then we found whale sharks. And we found like six, seven whale sharks, including two of them together. And we were the only people there, with about six of us on our boat. So we all jumped in the water, and we got to follow these whale sharks for ages. Like, we were probably in the water for about an hour of the two hours we were in there. And because we had so many whale sharks around, we could kind of split off, and you could have a whale shark all to yourself for like 10, 15 minutes. Just you and them, swimming along. They were up really close to the water. Decent visibil visibility, so you could see them all. So that was really, really cool. I've done whale shark whale shark <laughs> swimming in the past in the Philippines and this was way better. Way more expensive but way better. So the second thing we did which was really cool was started out bad. We were driving along and we were driving on these highways and there were some potholes so we were taking a bit easy but the road got nice and clear and yeah, it was all good. So we sped up to about 100 kilometers an hour. And then just as I was overtaking this truck, you know I was getting up to about 110, 120 to get around this truck come in and suddenly huge potholes everywhere. So I like have to swerve in front of the truck and then kind of hit the brake and swerve through these potholes. And unfortunately, I'm not a rally driver, so we smashed into a couple of them. So we pulled straight over and I got out the driver's side door and look at the wheel and the wheel's already flat and there's big dents all through the wheel. So I run to the other side and that one, it's got dents in it and we can hear the air coming out, but it's not flat yet. So we run and open the boot and we start smashing the rim of the wheel with the hammer and we managed to save the tire. It was deflated, but it was still all right. So, what do we do? We spent a while, we changed all the tires, we put the back ones on the front, we got our spare wheel out, and ended up back on the road going very slowly. So we ended up in a village to get it fixed. And there was a little tire stand by the side of the road, and they had a football field in the background, and there was a barber next to where they sold and fixed tires, <laughs> and they had a bridge. That was like the major thing of this village, they had a bridge there. So we got out and we started working on the tyres and we were chatting to the locals while they were fixing our rims, bashing them back into place, inflating the wheels. And they seemed friendly enough. And we just saw across the road, they had like something in Portuguese that said Casa, which is house. So we were like, oh, let's check out if we can stay there. Turns out we could. So we decided to spend the rest of the day there. 
So that meant, what do we do? Well, I had a football with us through Africa that I've been trying to play with kids with, so we got out the football. But first, we went to a barber shop. There's barber shop, they were running on batteries from a car, so it was a bit iffy. However, I was like, yeah, cool, let's go for it. So, just straight shave, and with a big audience of people watching through the windows and the door, uh, I got my head shaved. And then we went and played football with the locals, and that was awesome fun. We had probably about 12, 15 people playing, and they ranged from like 8-year-old girls to like 25-year-old guys. Every male who was over 15 had a six-pack, so they were pretty fit, and they completely destroyed us. Got a few shots in, Adriana got a few shots in as well. We had fun, uh, we got massacred, they were doing their little tricks and just running around us in circles, but all great fun. And then that night we got to sleep in a rendezvous, which was a mud hut with a sachet, like a straw roof. So it, was, it turned out to be an excellent day. Uh, the rest of the trip, again, mainly just driving and stopping on places, nothing exciting. However, we're now in Zimbabwe, really looking forward to it. People speak English, people have been really friendly so far. So I'll give you another update in a few days. Your face, so the sun 